the summary would be that the reason I started doing it was not the same as why I'm doing it right now. And like I said, the past two weeks, I've played nothing but legit. Well, I'm not going to say nothing but legit because I played with other cheaters sometimes, but I wasn't cheating for the past two weeks. And all my killer games, especially Nurse, were legit. And probably half and half survivor games where like I was just playing normally and then the other half I might have been playing with a cheater. But I wasn't cheating. Um, but the summary why I'm cheating, I would say one reason is because it is fun and it's different and it kind of brings new life back into the game just like just like a new game mode would like everybody's all excited oh uh eight survivors two killers it's gonna be so much fun when we get a, when we go against a nurse on a blight right um but just like when the lights out mode was here you know some people saw that as like oh this is fun no perks no add-ons everything's in the dark no scratch marks and it was interesting, but other people were like, oh, I hate this mode. So it's just a different mode of the game. And so in that respect, it can be fun and funny and you can do things that you can't normally do. So it's entertaining. Uh, another reason would be because I'll tell you, like the past two weeks, like I said, I was playing uh, legit. A lot of nurse games and just legit gameplay and my viewers on a live stream would linger at about like generally speaking they fluctuate right but generally speaking on average they were probably lingering around like maybe 20 right and and during all that time i had people asking me like oh how come you're not cheating anymore are you gonna when are you gonna use mods again and like you should put on mods and you should hack i want to see you do this and i want to see you do that and everybody was requesting it not everybody but a lot of people were requesting it right so somebody gave me these cheats i didn't pay for them and i don't really know how to use them and so like i said a new game mode let me come in here and play with these and see what i can do with them and what do you know there's like right now there's 50 people here so i think the numbers kind of speak for themselves in regards to what people find more entertaining now maybe i'm just so terrible at the game that nobody wants to see me play legit and you know i'm not going to argue that that's not the case but i think overall people find this entertaining even the people that hate it find it entertaining and they're over here complaining about it but they're still watching it by the way this wraith has been an afk the entire game so we're not doing anything wrong to him he's just he's just not even there Anyway, that would be probably like the short answer, the entertainment aspect f for me and mostly for the viewers who actually find it entertaining. Probably more so for the viewers, because if it were up to me, I'd probably just play legit because I really enjoy playing nurse and I have no desire to hack on nurse at all. And I, I would actually prefer to go up against the sweat squads, like really good players. And I like the challenge of that, whether I win or lose. So if it, if it were up to me, I'd probably just mostly be playing legit nurse games. But that's not what the majority of people want to see. But you're clearly just trying to win in all of these? No, I'm not. I don't care about winning. I don't care about dying. I don't care about pipping. I don't care about blood points. I don't care about any of the challenges i don't care about any of that stuff i really don't so you're just wrong about that
I was saying that Nurse is easy to play. Yeah, when you're at the lowest MMR possible, Nurse is very easy to play. I could just run no perks, no add-ons, and dominate everyone all day at the lowest MMR. But when you actually win, uh, let's say, when you actually win 50 to 100 Nurse games, and when I say win, I mean like 3Ks, 4Ks, like you're just dominating for about at least 50 games straight, if not 100 games, then you'll actually, depending on the time of the day, you'll actually go up against really skilled survivors and swifts that it's not easy anymore. It really isn't. But if you've never gotten to that level, then I would expect you to say it's easy to play Nurse. Because what happens is somebody picks up Nurse and tries a couple games with her and they just dominate because survivors... MMR doesn't mean anything at this game, not going to lie to you, you're wrong about that. You're 100% wrong about that. Because if I get banned and I come back on a new account, my MMR is 650. It's the lowest it could possibly be. And if you can't see the difference between people playing at 650 MMR and people playing at like 2000 MMR, then I, you probably have never experienced the higher MMR if you think that it doesn't mean anything and that there's no difference. There's a huge, huge difference. There is a huge difference. Like, the, you know, the fact that I would even have to say that or explain that to you means you probably just haven't played at high MMR. You're eventually going to reach it no matter what, how, how casual you are. I don't think, I don't know if you will. You'll probably maybe eventually reach like a soft cap or something. But I don't know how long it'll take you because there are people that are like P100s that are still in low MMR. Okay, so if you play 50 to 100 games on a particular killer and you win all those games, then yeah, you're going to reach that, that cap of the MMR. You will. But... And if you're a survivor, maybe you escape 50 to 100 games, then I guess, I don't know the numbers on survivor because I haven't really tested it, but I know the numbers on the killer is at least 50 games where you actually have to win them, like getting probably 4Ks or at least three. No, and with the hacks, you can actually see MMR. You can see the MMR of your lobby. So it really is a thing. Now, is it always effective or like, does it always work? No, because like, depending on the time of the day and the regions, you might get matched up with somebody who's lower or higher. It's not always accurate, but generally speaking, they do try to match you with your MMR.